lost in your eyes, sees us. Yeah, you yeah, holding my hand through the trials. Yeah, you got us. Yeah, and you gon' be there in the river. My face just getting bigger. We came from afar. Yeah, with your two hands, I was born. And I was blind, I seen. I was deaf, I hear. Yeah, darkness to light. Well, don't get out of here. Wow. Yeah, came from the ground we grow. What's up? Flow by uh, my son, Brian Nitro. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Mark chapter four today. Hope you're doing well. Um, video didn't work on, I was gone for Mark four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to just do these uh, as individual videos, put it out there. So I love you guys. Hope you're doing well. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> um, thank you for anointing the words that are coming out of my mouth. Thank you for the word of God. Thank you for everything you've done for us, Lord. You're amazing. You're fantastic. We love you with all of our heart. In Jesus' precious name, we dedicate our lives and our moment, this moment, to you. You and only you. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Amen. But yeah, well, that's uh, His Grace, uh, HG3, Brian Knight. He's in a, he's a, he, he makes his own music. And go check him out on SoundCloud. His Grace 3. And, um, you all right so here we go mark chapter number four uh here we go open your bibles um we're using esv just because we're on lap one and we're going to switch um in the future but here we go the parable of the sower and again he began to teach beside the sea and a very large crowd gathered about him so that he got into a boat and sat in it on the sea yeah amen this is Jesus, right? This is Jesus. Um, getting in a boat. He's talking to his people. He's talking to his peeps. Um, and the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land. And he was teaching them many things in parables. And in his teaching, he said to them. Now, here we go, right? This is Jesus. Uh, this is Jesus talking. This is what he said. Listen, verse three, behold, a sower went out to sow. There, I'll get go. Um, let's do this. Let me just switch this up and then make it smaller. There we go. Okay. A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some fell, some seed fell along the path. The birds came and devoured it. Other seed fell on rocky ground where it did not have much soil and immediately it sprung up since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched. And since it had no root, it withered away and other seed fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it and yield no grain. The other seeds fell into good soil and produced grain growing up and increasing and yielding 30, 60 and a hundred fold. And he said, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Hmm. The purpose of the parable and when verse 10 and when he was alone those around him with the 12 asked him about the parables by the way you know jesus answers right he answers you like he's the boss and he still answers you so ask him I mean, you've got to love that you've got to love that about the lord <laughs> he's amazing to you has been given the secret of the kingdom of god but for those outside, everything is in parables so that they may indeed see, but not perceive and may he indeed hear, but not understand lest that they should be turned and for, be forgiven. And he said to them, do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand all the parables? The sower sows the word and these are the ones along the path. Where the word is sown when they hear satan immediately comes and takes away the word that is sown in them and these are the ones sown on rocky ground and the ones who when they hear the word immediately receive it with joy be that by the way receive with joy receive with joy yes yes amen receive with joy the word of god don't don't analyze it and be like ah this no nah, 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 nah. 
Love the Lord. Love love the word. Receive it with joy. If you don't understand everything, that's okay. That's okay. Let's talk. Get with a, get with a minister. Get with a, a, a someone who studies the Bible. Get with another brother, another sister. Talk about it. Receive it with joy. That's the answer. And they have no root, verse 17, and they have no root in themselves, but endure for a while. Then when tribulation and persecution arises on the account, on account of the word, immediately they fall away. So definitely when persecution arises, there's some people who, because of the word, because of persecution and tribulation, they run, they fall, they sin, they do whatever. Verse 18, don't back down. Wake up. And others are the ones sown among thorns. They are those who hear the word, but when the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches and the desires or lusts for other things enter in and choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. Those, but those that were sown on good soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and, and bear fruit 30, 60, and 100 fold. Be that one. Verse 20. Be the ones who hear it and accept it, and it bears fruit. Amen. Verse 21. And he said to them, Is a lamp brought in to be put under a basket or under a bed, and not on a stand? For nothing is hidden except to be made manifest, nor is anything secret except to come to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. And he said to them, Pay attention to what you hear. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And still more will be added to you. For to the one who has, will more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Verse 26. And he said, the kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground. He sleeps and rises night and day, and the seed sprouts and grows. He knows not how. The earth produces by itself first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. But when the grain is ripe, at once he puts in the sickle, because the harvest has come. And he said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God, and what parable shall we use for it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which... When sown on the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes larger than all the garden plants and puts out the lo out large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them without a parable, but privately to his own disciples. He explained everything. Glory to God. And he will do that for you, by the way. He will explain it all. Get with him. Meditate on the word. Meditate on a scripture, on a passage. Ask the Holy Spirit, what's this mean? What am I, what, what am I doing? Why am I reading this? Amen. God loves you. He's your teacher. He's your counselor. Verse 35. On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. And the other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. And he said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? <laughs> They marveled. What a man. God, the God man, Jesus Christ. Isn't he fantastic? He loves you, by the way. Call out to him today. Call out to him. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, have mercy on me. 
I repent of my sin. I know that I need you and I need you now and forevermore. Jesus, you're the one. You're the only one. You're the only one. I love you. I accept you. You're my God. Amen. Repeat that prayer. Say it. Believe it. And you can be born again today. Message me at bnych at gmail.com. Email me. Talk to me. Brian at He's Alive Ministries, if that's easier. Brian at He's Alive Ministries.com. I want to hear you from you. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear, hear uh, what you have to say. What happened to you? Did you get transformed? Did you get changed? I want to hear your, your uh, testimony. Because God is in the changing business. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. He wants to transform you. He is the ultimate transformer. The ultimate. Amen. I love you. God loves you. He really does. And Jesus is Lord. Amen.